or whatever you decide. Catherine Houghton Beckett. Will you marry me? Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes. Yes. I will marry you. You know that case that I've been investigating, the, um, the break-in and the theft? Well, it turns out there's more to it than we thought. Are you gonna waterboard me? Because that would seriously affect our relationship. No, babe, can, can you listen for a second? Maybe somebody saw them do it. Can we canvas the area? And by we, I mean, obviously, somebody else. What are you looking for? And don't tell me. It's something completely inappropriate for the workplace. No, not this time. Uh, given that everyone uploads everything to the internet nowadays, I thought I might see if anyone else out there took a video of that fire and look. If the arsonist was watching that fire, he might be in this video. Can you turn up the sound? Yeah. That doesn't look right. Seriously? A lot better quality than a security camera. No, babe, I'm talking about the building. That fire just started. Huh. Oh, what? Fire department's not even there. I mean, they're not on their way. You can't hear the sirens. There's no one I'd rather share a headline with. But just for the interest of accuracy... Let's say we're getting married in space. No, it's not gonna happen, babe. Be pretty fun. Babe, it's your letter, and I hope you never have to read this, that I can tell you all of these things in person, but if something happens and I don't make it, I need you to know that our partnership, our relationship, is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. See what happens when I leave you alone. Babe, I wasn't alone when they were interrogating me. The only thing that kept me going was thinking about you. About our future, the wedding. You were with me the whole time. Why are you here? You don't care about the victim, so you aren't here for justice. You don't care that the guy's aping your book, so you aren't here because you're outraged. So what is it, Rick? Are you here to annoy me? I'm here for the story. And that's it to Beckett is why you're here. You trick. Don't think you know me. Hi, my name is Kate, and my boyfriend has been a very bad boy. Yes, that's right. His name's Ricky. What are you doing? Actually, a friend of mine recommended a Mistress Venom. Wait. Is she available tonight? 4 p.m.? You know sure, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, that's very funny. Now call her back. Uh-uh, Castle. This is the perfect way to get Venom without tipping our hand. What's the matter, Castle? You afraid of a little role play? <laughs> you know, I knew this place felt right for a reason. I'm Kate. I'm one of his old friends. And this is a Rick. Brian, and any old friend of Donnie is a new friend of mine. Tell me, Ryan, um, you don't by any chance carry a liqueur. It's really delicious, and it comes in this red bottle. The hell it isn't. I don't hang around you just to annoy you. I don't ride out to murder scenes in the middle of the night to satisfy some morbid curiosity. If that's all this was, I, I would have quit a long time ago. Well, then why do you keep coming back, Rick? You really want to put your dad through that? And what about Josh? And what about you, Rick? Well, of course, I don't want anything to happen to you. I'm your partner. I'm your friend. Is that what we are? Oh, you know what? I don't know what we are. We kiss, and then we never talk about it. We nearly die frozen in each other's arms, but we never talk about it. So, no, I got no clue what we are. <laughs> This is politics. 
perception is reality. The truth won't matter. What am I supposed to do, Rick? I can't just stop being a cop just because it's inconvenient. No, 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 no. Just, you can wait. Right for something else, for another lead. For the coat to disappear? You don't think I don't know what's at stake here? Do you think I actually want to do this? Then don't do it. I don't have a choice. through. I'm sure everyone is looking for me, and if they figure out I was here, CSU's gonna search this house. They're gonna look for blood, and they will find it, which will lead them to this letter. I don't believe in much, but I believe in us. I like this guy. Mm -hmm. And no matter the obstacles, no matter how hard you try, you'll never get rid of me. Huh. I love you. for about a year. And I love you, Kate, and if that means anything to you, if you care about me at all, just don't do this. You should go. Rick. anything for you if this changes the way that you feel kate i'm not proposing to you to keep you here or because i'm afraid i'm gonna lose you i'm proposing because i can't imagine my life without you if that means when things get difficult we have to figure them out then i'm willing to figure them out assuming you're willing to figure them out with me kate we haven't seen each other in six weeks trust me this was not my call i'm just as upset as you are no i know it's I'm the one who canceled last time. Beckett, let's go. Oh, look, I gotta go. I will make this up to you, I promise. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Cancel. Wow, you sound like you are getting a lot of writing done. I blame you for that. When are you coming back? Uh, I don't know, a couple hours. I have a meeting. And uh, don't ask me what it is. Well, no, I have to ask. Hey. Look, I, I have to get going. I, I should be back in time for dinner. Maybe we can have a glass of wine together. I will decant something amazing. Okay, I love you. Bye. Hey there, Chuck Norris. <laughs> How's the hand? Uh, excruciating. Mm. How's Ryan and Esposito? Mm. Mild hypothermia, wounded pride. Guess which one will heal first. 
Of all these words and promises we can keep together. Thank you. For having my back in there. Always. It's a little weird. Yeah. Thank you. Always. What are you doing? Just waiting for my partner. Maybe you've seen her. Pretty girl. Thinks she can leap tall buildings in a single bound, carries the weight of the world on her shoulders, yet still manages to laugh at some of my jokes. She sounds like a handful. Tell me about it. Anyway, if you do see her, tell her she owes me about a hundred coffees. Castle? Thank you. For what? For not pushing and giving me the space to get through this. Always. Tell me you love me, Joe. Always. Listen, thank you for staying with me. Always. You're an amazing man, and I love you with all of my heart. Always.